everybody, Dre here, and welcome aboard the Krabby Grabby once again. Today we're out crab hunting, and uh, I gotta admit, I've been struggling with crab fishing up until now, but I think I might be on to it right now. As you can see by my pot, it's going quite well. I put a test stringer down over here, and this was just totally random luck. Um, yeah, I, I am nowhere near where my crabs were, and for whatever reason, they're by my lobster. I saw a lot of crabs on the sonar when I was lobster hunting, so I thought I would try this out, and it seems to be working out, because if we go to my logbook as well, I've done a grand total of three pots, and I've gotten almost as much as a full string uh, in our last episode, and this pot is looking actually even more full, so... You know what? Screw the tips! I'll just find the snow crab myself, so yeah, hopefully today what I want to do is get enough for the best spearfishing boat, because honestly, spearfishing is so damn fun in this game. And the last time we spearfished was on the stock boat, the starting boat. I wanna see what a fancy spearfishing boat has on it. So yeah, we're going to uh, spend a little more money today, hopefully buying that, going out on that. But before that, I have to obviously earn some money for it, so that's why we're out on the open seas. Trying to get lucky with the crab once again. And the final pot of the test string, and would you look at that? Also quite well, so they're not full, but um, they're definitely quite stocked. The important part is every pot is pulling up a decent amount of fish. I guess we did have one rather low pot, but that's fine compared to last time where we were getting like two to three empty pots and then one decent pot. This is so much better. Consistency is key. So yeah, I'm gonna drop all these pots around here now because I don't specifically know where they are and yeah, we'll see if we can get lucky. So I just realized you can double bait pot pots. Can you triple bait them? I, I'm just morbidly curious if this is going to help it at all or if it's just like eating my bait. Okay, there's an old triple bait. So let's admit, remember that one, lucky number 24. If there's more fish in that, then I think I found a way to make these pots really lucrative. Well, the boat sure looks empty with all these pots. We are on the final one now, and I gotta say, I don't want to jinx myself, but I'm feeling a little optimistic about this soap. You know, I won't lie, snow crab fishing has been very frustrating in this game for me, and it hasn't been very successful, so I'm praying that this full soak of 55 pots will be good, and I kind of just wrapped around um, the area that we were finding them in, as you can see. So yeah, now we wait and find out. All right, so I might have waited a bit long. We have the first pot blue, second pot green, so couldn't get a better time frame for the start of this string, but I'm a little worried if there's gonna be crab in every pot, we might oversoak the end of this string, um, because if you remember last episode, we were getting so many empty pots, that's why we were able to keep up with it. Um, so I might regret this, hopefully not. Regardless, I'm just hoping to see, yes. Not the fullest of pots, but definitely a decent amount of crab in there. And we got 184 in that, so not the best, not the worst. Well, a little update on the first string. Um, that's actually a pretty decent pot, pot there. We had a few dry spurts. Nothing that was too awful, but yeah, as you can see, I mean, these are not the best pots, but yeah, at the start, we were going pretty good. An hour ago with almost 500 kgs in one, so yeah. Some of it's good, some of it's not so good. The important part is, though, I'm not getting the empty pots, because that's the most annoying part. And here comes pot 24, which was our experiment pot. It's hard to tell. It doesn't look like that's too much crab to me, but you never know until it's on the actual table. Okay, an experiment I'm going to assume failed because we got, you know, pretty much exactly what we're getting with all the other pots. Well, bad news. On pot 30, as you can see, I'm over soaking now. So what I'm gonna do after we haul in this pot here, I'm going to go to the end of my line trying to keep as many of these pots within blue as possible. And this might be my best line anyways. Yeah, it's looking like it's gonna be pretty much a lost cause anyways. Yep, the moment I get over there, they're all green, so... Ah, can't do much about that. That's frustrating. Well, there's the final one. Yes, we went all the way to orange, and surprise, surprise, no fish in that one. I was getting a few no, no fishes. Actually, surprisingly, the last few, I did actually have crab in them once again, but I guess they weren't within slot. I haven't been paying attention to how much I've been grabbing. But yeah, definitely not the hottest at the end here. It's just um, all those things were o over soaked. So I've learned if I was to do a 55 pot soak again, um, yeah, split out at least half of those pots for about 10 hours or so. 
uh, so you don't over soak the end of your line like I assumed I would. Um, but yeah, we ended off with what? Almost 10,000 kgs. That's decent. I'm not too excited, honestly, but we'll see how much money that gave us. Okay, here we go. The big question is, oh my god, like all that, that is so much harder than longline fishing. And the fact that I can get 300,000 longline fishing is just ridiculous. All right, so you know what I'm going to do? I can't believe I'm doing this. First of all, fishing gear. Um, sell those pots. I'm just, I'm not happy with crab fishing in this game. I'm literally rage quitting my biggest ship. So I'm going to, um, activate the knots for the time being. I mean, I could even sell the snar set if I really wanted to, but honestly, that's not bad. You actually get a lot of your money back, which is nice to see. Um, I just don't want to go crab fishing again to get enough money for my next ship, which is going to be the full throttle. Yes, we are at the creme de la creme of sword fishing ships. And, well, it's not even really a ship. It's like a speedboat or just a fishing boat. It looks fantastic, though. I'm excited. We went from the most basic of sword fishing boats to the best of the best. All right, going to spend 200000 in upgrades as well. We still got $3 million left, so... Yeah, we might get into trawling sooner than later if we get some really good runs here with um, sword fishing. Oh my god, look how fast this thing is! Alright, let's actually go check under the hood. It's be This looks so chill. Alright, hold on, I have to turn all the way around. I'm going into the shore here. Oh my god, I can probably flip this thing. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Don't get me wrong, the big ships are fun, but sometimes the smaller boats, especially on hard waters, are really fun to drive. Um, but yeah, a, a, a quick tour of the place. I've never been here. Um, this is like a nice little living quarters. I can actually go to the front. Oh yeah, that's that's where the harpooning's going to be. All right, so back to the cabin in the back. That's where we can long line. We can long line on this boat as well. This looks like the best boat to just chill on. I can also even go up. Um, thank God I'm not gonna crash into anything. Oh, I can drive up here. Great, so this is a really good lookout to look for swordfish because if you don't know, I actually have to spot these things from the horizon. All right, I got tuna intel from three days ago and swordfish from a week ago. I'm going to go way out into the deep sea with this thing. Um, I'm just going to have to refuel before we leave because I did probably use, yeah, the majority of my fuel. We're in smaller boats, so it's going to be a lot of fuel buying, which is a little frustrating, but hey, it's part of the job. Well, it's a calm day, that's for sure, being this far out to the ocean. Um, I have a really nice view up here, too. Nothing's really blocking my view, so this is fantastic. Uh, now the hard part's gonna be spotting these guys, but this is why this is so fun to me. It's just, it actually is hard to find them, so once you find them, it gets really, really exciting. Holy God, I just checked out my fuel. Am I even gonna be able to get back? Okay, I, I, I can fast travel back. All right, you know what, I'm gonna go, I looked around the tuna for a while. Um, I just don't have the gas tank to deal with that. If I got to fishing, I'd be out of fuel. I got really lucky I noticed that when I did. Jesus. Okay, so I'm gonna go to that swordfish, uh, just because it's so much closer. <gasps> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! There they are! Okay, it's taken me, uh, a long time to get to these guys, but we are finally there. So, what we want to do now... First of all, if I lose these guys, I want to make sure I know exactly where they were. Because they do swim pretty quickly. Now let's get off of this. And let's go see if we can bag a couple of these guys. Man, it's good to be back. This boat is so beautiful. Okay, I have to get used to it again. It's, it's gonna be a minute. <laughs> Come here. Alright, this is the one right here. Ah! And... I screwed up. Ah! Okay, I can't miss this, right? There we go. There. We. Go. Oh, don't break it. Come on, I need at least one swordfish today. Yeah, he's tired. Come on, just get in! I feel like they made this harder. This guy is fighting like crazy. Alright, can I get another one? Should I just wait? No, I'm going for it. Oh, how is that a miss? Okay, just come on. Just keep coming. Let me reload. Where the hell is he? Oh, oh, he, he went deep. He went deep. Ah! Oh, beautiful hit. Okay, reel that bad boy in. There we go. Yes! All right, come in quick so I can get your friend. Get in here. Oh! Oh, that would have been great. Got you that time, buddy. Come on. Get in here. Oh, really? Come on, get. Come on. Come here. Don't go so deep. Come back up. 
Yes, to the surface. <laughs> All right, you are the lone survivor, little friend. Let's see if we can get him here. I, I wish I could drive the boat from the front. That's one thing I, I will say. I'm surprised I can't. Come on. Oh, beautiful hit. I think that's the final one too, at least uh, the ones that I can see around me. So we'll let the, we'll bring this guy in and uh, yeah, see what we can do. Now I will say, the one thing about sword fishing in this game is if you leave the engine on and it goes the opposite way, you run into this issue where you just get progressively further and further away. I can't seem to outfight the boat. So I don't know if we'll be able to bring this guy in or not. If he gets really tired, maybe, but the problem is this string's getting longer and longer, and yeah, this is one really frustrating issue that I've seen with this type of fishing. Oh, and I broke it trying to get him in too quickly. Um, yeah, but I wouldn't have been able to get him anyways. So yeah, I guess we'll go in now and see how much this was worth. Okay, please be a decent amount. 43k, so... Man, I remember sword fishing being so much more lucrative. Now, I actually didn't need a crew member for doing this type of fishing. If I was doing deep line, then I probably would have. So deep lining is still the way to go, by the way. And this and this boat can deep line. I just really wanted to harpoon today to see if it's as good as I remember it. But yeah, I spent probably 10,000 in gas looking for that. Um, so yeah, really not worth it to harpoon these days, but it was fun to get back out to it. But yeah, we can still deep line with this boat. I, at least I believe we can. So yeah, we can rig it for deep line, which I will do now because deep lining is definitely the way to go. Uh, but yeah, I had fun doing some harpooning today. It's one of my favorite ways to fish in this game. Not the most lucrative, but that's not always what's important. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, checking out the full throttle. We'll probably do another quick episode of this, trying some deep lining and seeing how lucrative it can truly be. And yeah, it's kind of a bummer that I suck so much at crab fishing. I was really hoping for it to be good, but we still have trawling to do, and trawling is going to be where the money's really at. At least I feel like it, so I'm really excited for that. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying fishing North Atlantic. As always, thanks for watching and liking, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.